Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a super simple method for installing side mount drawer slides. It's very easy, it's very quick, no special tools, no jigs, no complications, just simple, easy, and direct. Here we go. Alright, so basic concept first. I mentioned the different pieces of wood, so they are just spacers. And what the spacers are going to do is space out both our drawer boxes themselves, so they're going to set the space in between each drawer box, and you also have another set of spacers that's going to manage in between each slide. So all you're going to do is put a spacer in the case, stack your slide on it, screw it in, next spacer, stack your slide, screw it in. Same with the drawers, and I'll show you how this works. For a set like this, these are all the same size drawer boxes. I have another set that's different sizes, I'll cover that too. If they're all the same size, you're going to have two spacers for each set. Meaning, uh, let's see, for the case to mount the slides, I have a small spacer and then I have a wider spacer. That's going to be, the small one will be your very bottom and then this will be for every set in between. Then for the drawers, you're just going to have a set space between each drawer box. Why are these so long? I'll show you. Trust me, there's a reason. But that's all you need. A couple simple scraps. I've labeled them for sizes. It's easy. Trust me, this will all make sense in a second. Alright, so I would love to have this thing up on a bench so this was easier to shoot and I could stand instead of kneeling down here on the floor to talk to you, but it's a huge cabinet assembly right now. I have it all leveled. I can't take it apart to do that. So we're just going to have to work on the floor. <laughs> so we always start putting the slides on the cabinet carcass itself. That's where you start. Don't worry about the drawers yet. They don't matter. All we want to know right now is where these slides are going to go. These are for later. So again, this all comes back to the drawing and I'm going to be off camera here a bunch to be a little awkward. Sorry. Um, we want to space our first one. Obviously these are installed already, but I'll show you how this works because it's fast and you don't need to watch me drive screws. So this is a one inch spacer. So all you're going to do, let me show you on this side, set your spacer in, set your slide on it. Make sure your front edge is flush, screw it in. That's it. You can do both sides or you can start working your way up. Set your spacer, set your slide on it, screw it in. Done. Now where your other size comes in is for the rest. The space between your first slide and the bottom of your cabinet is going to be different from slide to slide to slide to slide the rest of the way up. Okay, Unless your drawers are super tiny, that's going to be pretty much all the time. So you're going to have one spacer for the very bottom one, and then after that it's going to be the same spacer all the way up if your drawers are the same size. I have another set I'll show you in a minute on different size drawers. Actually I got the same spacer to work, so we'll cover that again at the end in the drawing. So first slide, one inch spacer, set your slide, screw it in. Done. Second slide, put your spacer in, set your slide on it, screw it in. The tip that's very helpful for this is to clamp these on. So your first drawer slides there, clamp your spacer, now all you got to do is hold your slide in. You can put a clamp on that too, run your screws and that's it. And from there, you don't need to think about anything, you don't have to measure anything. Next slide, next spacer, all the way up. Same thing every time. All the way to your top drawer. And then we can move on to worrying about the drawers. So like I said, no jigs, no tools, two pieces, super fast. Okay, so now how do you actually put the drawers in there? This is where a lot of people get confused. This is where I used to get confused. You're worrying about where this piece has to go on the drawer relative to where the drawer sits in the cabinet. How does this go on the slide? Where's the center line? How tall is it? I gotta measure and put marks on here. And then I gotta try to screw exactly. No. 
none of that stuff. You don't have to worry about any of that. We don't even worry about where the slide goes. I don't care where it screws into the drawer. The only thing I'm gonna tell you on this is you generally want your slide to be in the bottom third of your drawer. Um, you can see this is like a five inch drawer. I don't want my slide all the way at the top. Um, even on the file drawers I'm doing, they tend to be towards that bottom third. And that's pretty common with the manufacturers. They might give you an actual dimension for the slides, but somewhere near the bottom third of the drawer. I find it really doesn't matter, but you don't want it all the way up top. They get very bouncy. So anyways, I'll show you how, no math, you don't have to worry about anything. It's super easy. Here we go. Okay, we're back on the floor. So just like mounting the slides here, uh, the drawer is going to be different. You, you're going to, sorry, not different. You're going to have two spacers is what I mean. Bottom spacer and then everything in between. And again, that's because the distance from the bottom of the drawer to the case is different from drawer to drawer to drawer as you go up. Super simple. On these, I decided to set a quarter inch space from the drawer to the cabinet at the bottom. It can be half inch, it can be quarter, it can be one inch. Uh, again, you got to work that out in your drawing just to make sure things don't overlap or become too short. But all we're going to do is set our space from the bottom and then set our drawer in there. You'll see I have not taken the slides apart. They're still completely assembled. The part that goes on the drawer is still in there. All we got to do is pull a little bit of that piece that attaches to the drawer out so we can see it. Set our drawer box in here, making sure that these spacers are underneath it completely. And we're going to pull it out a little bit just so we can access the sides of these slides here. Making sure that it's seated here on those spacers. Make sure that that little tip of your drawer slide is just flush or just a tiny bit back from the edge. And then we're just going to screw it in. I like to tighten my screws uh, on the drawers themselves just by hand because uh, the drawer stock tends to be thinner and a little softer so you may uh, strip every screw with a screw gun I find that I do so I just use this to tighten them. Quick tip. Alright so that's one screw in the front of each slide so now it's attached and our height's pretty much set. We can pull this out. You want to keep your shims underneath it. And then we just pull it out far enough to access the second hole on the slide. And you can see that on both sides. And then we just screw that one in. Okay. Now I've made sure to keep pressure on the drawer each time I'm doing that. I typically have one hand right inside the drawer. And that's just to make sure it's on those bottom spacers so we keep that consistent. Now you've got two screws in so your height's pretty much set so at this point we just pull the drawer out and then set the last two screws. So what I mean is this third one back here, some slides you can get it while it's in the case but some you can't and these I can't so I'll pull these out and just put the third screw in and then that's all set. Now we don't need these spacers anymore. Alright, I'm back on the floor. I've put my third screw in. So we just push the slides all the way in. Set the drawer into the slide. And there's drawer number one. So from here, it's the same process, just stacked on top of each drawer. So how does that work? Simple. Two more spacers, and this is where you find out why these are so long. <laughs> They're overly long because I didn't feel like cutting them, but longer is better here. So I have a set thickness spacer. I have two. In this case, they're inch and three-eighths because I know that is the space I want between each drawer box. So all we're going to do is the exact same process. Set these on top of the drawer, drop my drawer box in, 
attach my slides, and move on to the next one. Very, very simple. All right, so here you can see why I make these pretty long. Um, when I get to putting that second screw into the slide, you're out more than halfway on the drawer at this point, so I want to make sure I have some balance out here as well as to the back of the, the cabinet case. So these spacers are pretty long, but now my drawer is stable. I can get my first screw and my second screw into the slide, just like the bottom one, and then just take it out, put the third screw in, and pop it back in. Uh, I just did that actually, so take your spacers out, your drawer is set, on to the next one, and you follow the same process all the way up to the top drawer. Okay, back on the floor in a different location. So in this spot, uh, we have a couple different sizes. We're actually going to have two file drawers here uh, stacked at the bottom, and then this one up top is a different size. Uh, the file drawers are 11, I believe this one is an 8 or 9, I don't remember, it doesn't matter for this discussion. It's the same principle. You have a spacer for the case to the first slide, and then in between your slides. In this case, it's a much bigger spacer, um, but it's the same process. You still just clamp this in, set your slide on it, screw the slide in, and then go to your next one. Okay, so at this point I've shown you how to install your drawer slides and your drawer boxes fast and easy without jigs, without tools, without a lot of problems. It all relies on a couple simple tools that we have to make. I wouldn't call this a jig, it's a piece of wood. You're probably going to have these scraps left over from making your cabinet or your drawer boxes anyway. If you want to know how to set these spacers up and get your drawers and your drawer fronts set up in a drawing so you can make these pieces, stick around, we're going to do the drawing part right now. Alright, here we go. So here's the drawing for this whole cabinet. I'm sorry things look a bit messy uh, when I'm in the middle of a, a build this big. This is usually the way as I'm working through different sections. Uh, but here is the stack of drawers that we were showing just a minute ago. And I'll show you how I set this up. So, uh, I have dimensions here for what we set up, but here's the idea, right? So this, this represents your drawer box here, and then these would be the drawer slides on the sides. I always draw them in just because it makes things easier. Those are going to be pretty standard, whichever brand you get, if they're, if they're side mount anyway. You know, they're half inch thickness, they're usually inch and three quarter, two inch and seven eighths in height. Uh, it doesn't matter a whole lot height wise. So, in this case, uh, I have set a quarter inch gap to the bottom, and what I would say here for that dimension, which again is going to be your bottom of your drawer to the top edge of your carcass bottom, uh, use a, a standard dimension of, of standard plywood stock like a quarter inch or half inch or three quarter inch. Uh, sometimes that won't work. You need something bigger or smaller. You may want to stack, but try to use those or, uh, uh, you know, combinations of those. So you can use offcuts you got later on the shop. You don't have to make anything special. Again, it's just, it keeps it simple and makes that actual install process just go faster. So all I do is set that depth, right? And then, or sorry, height. And then whatever this space ends up being for the bottom of the slide to the drawer which is three quarters of an inch here, and it's one inch from the bottom of the slide to the case. Now, in this case, that dimension, that one inch, there's really no rhyme or reason to why I picked that. It's just a nice round number. It's an easy to make spacer. Um, I may have already even had one. So, super easy to do, just make it one inch. Um, and I know that gives me three quarters up off the drawer, so that's good position as far as slide to drawer connection. And then all we're going to do is set that same measurement, that three quarters of an inch, off your next one from your slide, again I'll show you, from your slide to the bottom of your drawer. And that should be the same for each drawer going up the stack. And then what happens is you get your dimension from the top of your first slide to the bottom of the next one up 
and that is going to be your spacer. In this case, it's five and a quarter, so I make a spacer to go here. So there's your two spacers to set your slides. It's just this one inch distance here, and then it's your five and a quarter inch distance in between here. And now we can set our bottom two slides and then use the five and a quarter inch spacer to go each time up through the stack of drawers. Now, how did I come up with those numbers? And what does that mean? Before I get there, let me just cover the other half. When we put the drawer boxes in, there's a different dimension here. I have inch and three eighths. That's between each drawer box. Now again, I'll go, go through how I came up with that for the most part, but what you want to do is just have that be consistent. Again, the first one down here is always going to be different, and then these will all be the same to make life super easy for you. And what you want to do when you set this up is just make sure, okay, take my bottom drawer and put it in here, at, say put it in there at a half, and then pick a dimension for in here. You want to try to split it evenly, right? Do a little bit of math, divide your space left from the top of this drawer to the top of the case and split that up evenly. And if the gap from your top of your drawer to the top of your case is different, it doesn't matter. As long as it's got room to open, you're fine. And you might have to play with that, move them around a little bit. And that's what I like to do it in the drawing because it helps me. Now what you're trying to accomplish here, let me pull up the... Your fronts here, hang on. There we go. So, in this case, here's my drawer fronts, and you can see you know this is going to be a frameless cabinet setup. This will work the same if you're doing inset or overlay or whatever, you need to lay these out ahead of time. So, what you're trying to look for here is making sure that all of your drawers will open and the they won't interfere with each other. So, let me show you what I mean. And this is really the key to how you set all this up. Alright, so what I'm looking for here is just to make sure that when I put these fronts on, I have space between the drawer box and the drawer front, top and bottom, right? So I need to make sure that this drawer can pull out of there and the drawer below can pull out without hitting this drawer front. Now the size of the fronts we can change, we can tweak. Again, the goal for me usually is to get those all the same size, especially if your drawer boxes are the same size. Uh, if they're different, that's fine too. You want to lay them out, but in this particular stack, they're all going to be the same. And I'll show you what happens uh, if you get things a little out of adjustment, and it really does not take much. So if I go in here, and right now, as I said, I believe it's inch and three eighths between the drawer boxes. It is. So let's say I picked a number that was uh, a half inch less, let's just say. So now I have, I'm seven eighths. Okay, so I want to space them all seven eighths of an inch apart, right? Let's see if that works for me. And I should be able to tell pretty quickly, oh, yep, see, I, we've already got a problem. You can see that the drawer front for the drawer below interferes with this one. So regardless of where that the front for this drawer sits, you can see this drawer box is going to hit this drawer front. So your top two drawers would have to open simultaneously. Uh, obviously we don't want that. So that's why you have to do this part to make sure everything clears. So now we're going to move this back up that same half inch, get it back out of the way, double check, we should be back to inch and three eighths, there you go. And now, if I turn my drawer front back on, okay, good, now there's a gap there, so we know this drawer box will open independent of the drawer underneath it, which of course is what you want. And we can go down through the stack and check all these, so same here, you can see there's a gap between the drawer box and the drawer front, so I know that they will open. So that's really it. Uh, once I have that drawn out and I can see where all that spacing lies, and I know each one will open individually, and I can get my drawer fronts to the size I want, then I'll go in and dimension um, in between my drawer slides. 
So I hope that helps. If, uh, if content like this is useful or helpful, please comment and let me know. I can do some more of this. If this is uh, not useful, also let me know and I won't do it or I will adjust to make it more useful. But I hope it was helpful. I hope you let me know. And uh, most of all, I, I hope it helps and I'm thankful uh, that you guys checked it out. So let me know and we'll see you on the next one.